juggling my life as a corporate professional, a musician, a husband and a father and many more such avatars, I welcome you to my lifestyle channel which tells stories and shares my experiences of living life king size and experiencing all things around us. So come with me and enjoy the journey. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. I hope you've seen my other video of Fort Kochi tour and things to do in Kochi. The link is in the description below. In this video, we'll be driving from Fort Kochi towards Alapi, discovering virgin white sand beaches and taking a backwater cruise on the Alapi backwaters. Also coming up soon is a tour of Ramada in Kochi, another beautiful hotel which is right on the backwaters of Kochi and surrounded by water all around. For now, let's check out the drive to Alapi, the virgin beaches and the beautiful backwaters of Alapi. Let's check it out. And we have been out of our road from Fort Kochi towards Alapi and we have seen these water bodies, small bridges, small bridges, big bridges. The best part about this route is that you see water bodies all around you. So we decided to take the scenic route towards uh, Alapi. There are actually two routes that you can take. One is the National Highway 66 and the other one is the State Highway 66, which actually takes about 15 to 20 minutes more to reach Alapi. But State Highway 66 is the more scenic route and that is what we decided to take. And this highway runs completely along the ocean and you get amazing ocean views and backwater views. This is the best way to explore the area and also discover some virgin untouched beaches which would be coming up very soon. Some of the beaches that come on the way are, and please forgive me if I'm getting the names wrong or the pronunciation wrong, the beaches that come along the way are Chalanam Beach, Putanthodu Beach, Anda Karanzi Beach, Thaikal Beach and then the famous Marari Beach. And in beaches, we were to discover them and you can see that these are so pristine and untouched and virgin beaches. There are no tourists, no chaos, no big bad guy. The sands are white and pristine and the water is so blue. This time, it was so cold but looking at the beauty all around us, I was totally mesmerized and totally oblivious to the heat around me. I was just standing here and staring at the beautiful beach and the water. And you can very clearly see the reason as to why I was doing that. It's just so beautiful. We came to Alapi and we came to Marari Beach. Marari Beach is a place where I stayed the night at, at a homestay. It was a lovely homestay right on the ocean. You can always seek information of where to stay in the comment section of my channel. I will gladly respond to you and all your queries. Now we have reached in Alapi. And you can see that on the right side of Alapi, the whole canal system is running where there are boats and different kinds of water vessels. Alapi or Alapuza is also known as the Venice of the East. The houseboats that you find here in the backwaters are in fact a reworked version of the Ketu Vallams of olden times. Ketu Vallam is a Malayalam word where Ketu means living structures and Vallam means boat. In the olden days, Ketu Vallam or boat with a thatch roof that covers over wooden hulls was used to carry tons of rice and spices. Alapi is also the access point for the annual Nehru Trophy boat race which is held on the second Saturday of August every year. Now we were hungry and hungry, so we thought that we would try some local traditional traditions. So we stopped at this Thali place, a roadside dhaba serving meals or typical Kerala meals that the locals have here. And in this case, there is Kerala rice, fried small fish, rasam, beef tooth pachari, erisari, buttermilk and many more items. The cost is only Rs. 70 with unlimited refills and the food is just delicious. After finishing lunch, we wanted to take a tour of the Alapi backwater. So what we did is that we rented this boat for two hours. And the boat said that he will give us two hours in the whole Alapi backwater. The cost of renting this boat was Rs. 1400 for the entire boat. Yes, it was exclusive for us and would be giving us a tour of the entire Alapi backwaters. Now for some background on the backwaters of Alapi. So these backwaters are one of the most popular tourist attractions in Kerala, which attract over millions of domestic and international tourists to this district and also employ a vast number of locals in the private sector. The biggest thing about this region is that the rice bowl of Kerala, 
which is called the Kutan Nadu is also located in this region wherein this region of Kutan Nadu has the lowest altitude in India and is one of the few places in the world where farming is carried on around 1 to 3 meters below sea level तो यहाँ पे जो राइस की फार्मिंग होती है वो एक्चुअली वाटर के नीचे होती है सो द फार्मिंग एक्चुअली हैपन वन टू थ्री मीटर्स बिलो सी लेवल तो मैंने तो अपनी लाइफ में पहली बार ऐसा खेत देखा जो पानी में समर्ज था नॉर्मली तो हम लोग सुनते हैं कि बाढ़ आ जाती है तो सब कुछ खराब हो जाता है लेकिन लाइफ में पहली बार ऐसा देखा कि फ्लडेड वाटर्स या पानी के अंदर फार्मिंग हो रही है और सबसे बड़ी चीज़ जो कि लोग एल में करने आते हैं वो यहाँ पे आके हाउस बोट्स को रेंट करते हैं सो यस यू कैन रेंट हाउस बोट्स हेयर फॉर मे बी जस्ट अ डे फॉर ओवर वन नाइट और मे बी लॉन्ग अ पीरियड्स एंड दीज हाउस बोट्स आर एक्चुअली फ्लोटिंग हाउसेज विच कम विद अ कुक और अ शेफ ऑन बोर्ड हु कैन कुक ट्रेडिशनल केरला फूड फॉर यू वाइल यू स्टे विद एम दैट्स इट फॉर दिस एपिसोड गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग आई होप यू लाइक द कॉन्टेंट Please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment on the channel. Take care of yourselves and goodbye for now.